In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite bunch uh, bunch defenses right now in Madden 23. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into your coaching adjustments. You want to make sure that your zone coverage is set to match. Now, we're going to be giving you a breakdown out of the 46 uh, defensive playbook. And the play we're going to be taking a look at is the Nickel 3-3 Cub Cover 4 Show 2. Now, this is actually going to play like the Cover 4 Quarters or match coverage um, would play. Now, again, like I said, we are in the 46 uh, defensive playbook. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, set up a couple audibles. or uh, We want to go ahead and sub in safeties at the linebacker position or in the Nickel 3-3 formation. And our plan is we're going to come out in um, this little 3-3 uh, three, three formation and we're going to audible into um, our cover for show two. Now, if you want to get my full nickel 3-3 three, three cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. And again, if you want to sign up, it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So this Indianapolis Colts bunch is becoming uh, pretty meta. Uh, I'm actually going to have an ebook breakdown on this playbook. Uh, I should have it out early next week, probably mo or, uh, early this week. So probably Monday or Tuesday. And uh, we're going to be going over why this playbook is so good. But really what I want to show you in this breakdown um, is, like I said, how to stop you know, some of the meta things that you're going to be experiencing. i got a couple different corner routes here. Uh, and just really an all-around really good coverage uh, for defending this formation. So we're just going to come out in bunch trail because that's kind of a very popular concept. And going to go ahead and just move the balls of the bunches to the wide side of the field. And we're going to show you why this is my favorite way to defend bunch uh, right now. So how we're going to defend bunch is we're going to audible down into cover four show two. Now, this 3-3 three, three cup defense is so good. And one of the reasons that makes it so good, we teach this in the ebook, it's how to get pressure against a blocked running back. How do you actually accomplish that in this formation? We teach you and walk you through that uh, step by step in the ebook because I think the fact that this can get consistent pressure, uh, even when the running back blocks, is one of the biggest things I think that sets this defense um, apart. Now, as you see right here, we're not able to get the pressure, um, and it's because we're not doing a couple key things that we need to do, uh, which we talk about in the ebook, okay? Uh, but, anyways, what we're going to do from a coverage perspective, this also has. Um, I think some of the best coverage in the game because it has a lot of coverage potential. Potential. Uh, what you can do is you can cross man these linebackers all over the field. Uh, but what we're going to do in this rendition of the coverage is very actually simple. We're going to outside um, third this outside corner on the left side. We're going to inside third this safety on the left side. And then we are going to deep half the safety on the right so you see this is what the defense of play art is going to look like and then last thing that we want to do here uh at least what i like to do is go ahead and play some hard flats on the outside uh just to help with kind of the underneath stuff and then we're actually going to drop this uh blitzing linebacker into a bluff blitz and that's going to turn him into a three wreck uh hook zone so what you're going to see is this is basically a cover three hard flat but this outside quarter on the right side is going to do a really good job at defending um, any kind of compression corner route. So you see here this corner route to the R1 receiver. We're going to defend this really, really, really well uh, with this defense. We're going to be able to defend pretty much any corner route from bunch. Every corner route um, is going to struggle against this specific uh, setup. So as you see here again, here's the setup. Just those inside, that outside third, inside third, deep half. And then you're going to bluff blitz the D, uh, the linebacker. And then if you want to, you can put these outside guys in hard flats. So now we're going to try to send a, you know, a corner out um, to this tight end, right? And you'll see again, this coverage is going to do a really good job at taking away the corner out. So we explain this in our match ebook. Um, you can also get this. Uh, in the Patreon, if you want to, it explains match coverage in complete detail, uh, why it works and why it doesn't, and how you can protect against some of the things to make it even more effective. But again, it doesn't matter who runs a corner route on the right. You're going to see right here that we're going to consistently have the ability um, you know, to be able to take away the corner route really, really well with this defense, as you can see. So they can't throw a corner route. They also... Um, are not going to be able to throw these different types of uh, post routes. Now, 
Uh, I will say one of the things that you can mess around with a little bit with it within this defense is just inside thirding and deep halfing, and then you want to shade these outside quarters outside. What this is going to do is it's going to take away this post route really, really well. You're going to see that he's going to match onto that post, and then you're going to have that inside third that's rotating uh, to the middle of the field to be able to take that away. The other benefit of this is that this also can take away some check downs, different types of check downs that people that run bunch will run, uh, such as something like, you know, the play flood where we have this deep out route, you know, something like this. You'll see here that this guy is going to match onto that, uh, in that deep in route. And again, by shading him outside, it's also going to do a really good job on one of the most popular routes in the game this year. Uh, and that is the shaded, um, or not shaded, but the outside of Prentice C route, right? It's a very popular route combo. And what you're going to see here um, is it is really hard for them to get separation. Now, we were able to get it right there. Um, but generally speaking, when you shade outside, especially if you have a good cornerback, um, you're going to be in pretty good shape. Now, again, if you are you know wanting to overplay the C route a little bit, I would recommend going back to the original setup that I gave you in the intro uh, and what you'll see is if I try to put this outside apprentice C route, um, it's really going to struggle with that setup. Now, I did want to address something else that's actually kind of popular right now, uh, and that is this setup out of double post or mesh post. We talked about it a little bit uh, before here on the channel. Um, we've also talked about it in the three or four different bunch ebooks that we've done. Um, but anyway, what you're going to see here is this basic setup where if we play. Um, you know, this defense right here, this defense is going to be really good against Bunch, but when they motion this guy over, this outside third is going to get pulled back, and we're going to be able to throw that route um, against this guy. That is why what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to quickly get back into cover four show two whenever they motion. So, for example, um, you know, let's say they're setting up the same basic you know principle and we have gone through and we've adjusted our defense to look essentially like this and they motion this guy across we want to audible right back into cover four show two and just simply bluff blitz that defensive end on the right what you're going to see now is that the c route is now going to be matched to the sideline and it's going to be a pretty tough throw to be able to squeeze that in against good match coverage again if you can shade outside that's going to make this even more effective so as you can see here, we're able to stop a lot of the meta things that Bunch is going to bring to the table. Um, it's also going to stop the verticals quick throw, which is extremely meta uh, right now. Another thing you can also do is you can actually man align this defense so that if they motion, you'll notice something in interesting. They will actually follow, right? So because they follow, now we can man this guy up and we can just drop both of these guys into curl flats. Um, you know, and as you can see here, this is going to also maintain, you know, a pretty significant level of integrity of this defense. And you'll see uh, kind of what I'm talking about right here. So you'll see here again that outside quarter. Um, that time got cooked off the line of scrimmage, but it is a pretty difficult throw. So as you can see, this is a pretty decent little defense. The other thing that's really good about this coverage uh, and having a split safety coverage is let's say we want to send some heat. At the quarterback right, they're putting five out a lot. We can run match to the right side, and we can run zone uh, or man to the left. So we're going to do this little scissor adjustment right here. And then on the right side, what I like to do is deep half uh, that right side player, and we're going to hard flat um, the slot corner. So you see this is what the play art looks like. This is going to stop a lot of quick passing. And basically what we need to watch out for most is this tight end seam. So we're just kind of working up into this middle seam and we're trying to get quick pressure for a quick sack. This defense is really powerful because it's of, of its ability to disguise incredible pressure with incredible coverage. And if you want to learn my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, be sure to join the Patreon. If you head down to the description of this video, you can click the link down below and go sign up for just 10 bucks. And like I said, you'll get access to all of my offensive and defensive eBooks, all my bunch content, all my match content, um, all my 3-3 Cub content. We've got about 17 offensive and defensive eBooks available. And again, you're gonna get access to all of those. Any updates that we do to those over the course, uh, I think there's a patch coming next week. So you can anticipate that we'll have all of our eBooks um, updated post patch for you guys. 
as well as any new ebooks that we will release as well. So you get access to everything for just 10 bucks by becoming a Patreon member today. Uh, the link is in the description if you want to go sign up. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over there.